day two of our Narnia Advent series. The lamppost. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness did not overcome it. John 1, 5. We expect to see evergreen trees, snow and glowing lights in Advent, outdoors, in stores and on Christmas cards. Lucy Pevensey, however, is surprised to see a light glowing through snowy trees when she walks through the wardrobe. She's so curious about the light that she spends 10 minutes walking to reach it. A lamppost in a forest is a familiar image if you know the Narnia books, but it's meant to be surprising. Lewis leaves it unexplained in, his, in this novel, but in a later one, we learn it grew from an earthly lamppost, which was used as a weapon by the White Witch, then transformed into this lonely but shining light by Aslan in The Magician's Nephew. Mr. Tumnus tells Lucy it's the boundary between Narnia and the wild woods of the West. In the last chapter, the children come upon the lamppost and don't recognize it, but they notice how old it is and that it is dwarfed by the ancient trees around it. This lamppost is a living thing. No one lights it, no one extinguishes it, and it burns without fuel. The White Witch's winter hasn't snuffed it out. It is a boundary, but it is also a promise that Aslan can make broken things new and alive. It is a beacon in the face of the dark, cold spell that lies on the land. An advent wreath and Christmas lights shine with the same kind of light. Jesus is the light of the world, shining in a darkness of despair, sin, and death. A light that, like the lamppost, was there in the beginning with God. A light that was broken and made new in the resurrection. A light that shines through the darkness on all people. A light that beckons us to be curious, to come and see. A few questions for reflection. What special lights have you placed around your house this season, if any, to remind you the, of the light coming into the world? If you haven't hung any lights, are there places you might like to, if you have the time and the resources? Question two, Anne Lemmett writes, lighthouses don't go running all over an island to look for boats to save. They just stand there shining. Does this also describe the light of Christ to you? Why or why not? And finally, what metaphor would you use to describe the light of Christ in your life this season? Maybe it's glowing brightly, faintly, or off in the distance. Try writing a prayer or a poem with that metaphor and with the metaphor or with the metaphor of the lamppost. I wish you all a happy Tuesday.